and now we get you a fresh update on the Chandrayaan-3 mission. Now, as per ISRO, Chandrayaan-3 has completed its orbits uh, around the Earth and is now heading towards the Moon. So, the next stop of the Chandrayaan-3 is the Moon. And as it arrives at the Moon, the lunar orbit insertion is planned for August 5th, 2023. So, big update coming in on the Chandrayaan-3 mission. The Chandrayaan-3 has completed its orbits around the Earth and is now heading towards the Moon. This is as per ISRO. And so, the next stop of the Chandrayaan-3 is the Moon. And as it arrives at the Moon, the lunar orbit insertion is planned for August 5th, 2023. So, the ISRO has also confirmed that uh, the Chandrayaan-3 mission has stuck to its schedule and the spacecraft's health is also normal. So, big update coming in on the Chandrayaan-3 mission. The Chandrayaan-3 has completed its orbits around the Earth and is now heading towards the Moon. In fact, the ISRO officials have also said that the Chandrayaan-3 mission has stuck to its schedule and the spacecraft's health is currently normal. And so the next step of the Chandrayaan-3 is the Moon and as it arrives at the Moon, the lunar orbit insertion is planned for August 5th, 2023. On July 14th afternoon, Chandrayaan-3 was successfully launched into orbit by ISRO on board launch vehicle Mark 3, which is formerly known as uh, the... Uh, geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle MK3 and after a 40 day flight the spacecraft is expected to make a soft landing near the moon's south pole making India the fourth country to land on the surface of the moon and the first country to make a soft landing near lunar south pole. So big update coming in on the Chandrayaan-3 mission. Chandrayaan-3 has completed its orbits around the Earth and is now heading towards the Moon. And ISRO officials have confirmed that Chandrayaan-3 mission has stuck to its schedule. Now, remember, after a 40-day flight, the spacecraft is expected to make a soft landing near the Moon's South Pole, making India the fourth country to land on the surface of the Moon and the first country to make a soft landing near Lunar South Pole. CNN News 18's Harish Upadhyay is joining us on the story. Harish, can you give us the latest updates on the Chandrayaan-3 mission? Well, uh, around midnight, ISRO has successfully uh, carried out the translunar injection. What it means is now Chandrayaan-3 is out of Earth's orbit. It's on its way to Moon's orbit. Uh, the injection into Moon's orbit is likely to take place on the 5th of August. Uh, that is another crucial maneuver. Remember, uh, once the space, uh, spacecraft left uh, from Earth, uh, there, are, there are multiple maneuvers planned and uh, translunar injection was one of the crucial maneuvers that has been taken care of now. On the 5th, uh, this will be injected into the Moon's orbit and post which there will be a few more maneuvers to ensure that it gets into the 100 km radius of uh, Moon's orbit. After that, uh, that's when the spacecraft will attempt a soft landing somewhere on uh, August 23rd. Uh, that's the crucial date that ISRO has fixed. So the maneuver that took place around midnight uh, was a crucial one and ISRO saying that it has been carried out successfully. So it will be a big achievement for India as India will be the fourth country to land on the surface of the moon and also the first country to make a soft landing near lunar south pole. Absolutely. As we mentioned, only a select few countries have landed on the surface of Moon. Uh, let's also recollect that uh, Chandrayaan-2 crashed. It couldn't go for a soft landing. A lot of learning from it. A lot of changes made in Chandrayaan-3. And scientists hoping that they can carry out a soft landing. What it does for India is that uh, it gives that rare technological know-how of how to land a space spacecraft on a body in space. That's a crucial knowledge. Second, uh, remember, there are six crucial experiments that uh, ISRO is planning to carry out on the surface of the moon. Once that happens, uh, there's a lot of knowledge that uh, these scientific experiments will bring to India and the larger uh, scientific world. And uh, that will put ISRO in a very prestigious league.